Timbuktu to Tibet is the 75th anniversary exhibition celebrating the formation of the oldest rug collecting society or club in the United States. And that's called the Haji Baba Club, named for a fictitious bazaar rogue uh, in the early 19th century in a French novel. The only piece in the show from Timbuktu is a flat weave, which is in the gallery over here. Uh, it, it, it probably wouldn't be called a rug, even though some rugs do not have pile, do not have knots, they're, they're flat weave. This is a, a cover or a divider or something like that. There are Tibetan rugs, and there's one in the other room which is a tiger, very vibrant tiger. Uh, I have to say it's not natural dyes, but it's quite a dramatic graphic. Um, and that's the Tibetan side of the equation. <laughs> I found a, a dealer in my town, an, an Iranian, and uh, I bought a number of rugs from him, and he gets them from Esfahan and other big cities, Tabriz and so on. And we, uh, have, we select our rugs for the different uh, designs in different cities. I am a textile person. Every day I put on something I think about it. Textile is a way of ex expressing myself as a person in that context. I would say if I'm going to an Indian gathering, I, I like to take out my beautiful saris or something. But I was coming here, so I took out my beautiful shawl today <laughs> just to show off. I think they are fascinating. And if people my age came into the gallery, they would see different things as well. My one favorite word, um, it's in the next mu next um, case of the It looks very plain, but it's very unique because I don't know what it says. And to me, you could make up anything. It could tell a story. And to just have a story put on a piece of uh, fabric is very, very, very unique. And then they did it by hand. So it's like outrageous. I love it. I just love it, even though I don't know what to say. Nobody can't tell me, but yeah, I love this piece of work. It's very different, and nobody would never pick this one. I don't think they would, because they just walk past it, but if you could read it, I'd put my life on a piece of, of well, a textile any day.